Say it again, Sam. This is a Norte Negro. Like me. It's a Norte Negro. Exactly. Yes, black like this. Black like this. That's why it's beautiful. Yes. Hi. We're Carmen and Terry. We're taking a break from the LA hustle and grind and from our work in the film industry to explore the world and for an opportunity to expand our hearts and spirits nomadically. nomadically. Please join us on our journey. We're so excited to share with you. Getting ready to load onto our boat and take our tour. Should be fun. Filming, yeah. Yes. I was just putting a little something together for the gram. For the grizzam. That's that's her job. I, I do the YouTube. She does the gram. So if you were wondering why that footage on Instagram looks prettier than the YouTube footage, because <laughs> she does it. Or she's so nice. Yeah, we're just taking a little cruise for a couple hours. Gonna see a few cenotes and then let's take it in. You, you dig? So, over there is a cenote, and we're going in there. I mean, look how blue this water is. We've never seen this color blue before. Man, this is fresh water. This is fresh water, it's not salt. What kind of water changes colors? This is aqua. Dark blue. Isn't that crazy? So it, it changes colors because it's 90 meters deep. So it's just deeper over here than it is out there actually in the lagoon. How cool is that? Say it again, Sam. Like me. <laughs> Cenote Negro. Exactly. Yes, black like this. Black like this. That's why it's beautiful. Yes. And then you guys can see how the water's lighter over there. I right, just, you just can't. This never gets old. Got that water. Light again. They call this the Lagoon of Seven Colors. We see why. We see why now. Just keep changing it. It's Paradise. 
Zebra dice. Facts. So Bacalar has three cenotes in the lagoon. Okay. And this is the last one that we'll see today. And, and, and then one? there's one outside of the lagoon, and the one outside of the lagoon is Cenote Azul. Okay, so this one is? Um, Cocolitos. Cenote Cocolitos. Cenote Cocolitos. I can say it, right? Cocalitos. Cocalitos. Yeah, I got it wrong. Cocalitos. Look at this. And this is 80 meters. 80 deep. meters deep. And that's why the water keeps getting darker. Wow. Tina, you see the snake? This is the first place I've ever been where in, uh, I, I just wanted to totally relax, not hear any music, no noise, just take in the environment. Like it's just gorgeous. Like look at this. This was this was an abandoned um, restaurant that never got going. But yeah, this place is total, the total definition of, the true definition of um, peaceful. Like, this is probably one of the most gorgeous places I've been in my life. It might be the, so far. It's four hours uh, south of Playa. If you can, check it out because Second to none. For real. Look at this. I keep saying look at this, but look at this. Yeah. Jumping on people's backs? <laughs> I jumped on his back and his knees buckled. <laughs> no, no, I was putting something in my pocket. I wasn't. She, she don't get nobody no warning. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> not true. Yeah, I asked him if he was ready. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was falling out. like little children i love it so much i used to do like handstands when i was a kid at the at, the, at the sound park or cedar point in ohio <laughs> and something told me to do it here <laughs> i've never done it in my life yeah. the kids are going to be so <laughs> proud of their mama <laughs> so it was fun <laughs> it was super fun So we 
had a tour and it was it was great. Um, it was amazing. We're not sure how the sound was out there, but let me just tell you, like, they called it the, the Laguna Seven Colors. Is yes. that yeah? So and we saw all seven colors. I think. Yeah, it because was amazing. It, it was so um, so peaceful, so beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen water that beautiful in my life, right? No, it was incredible, really incredible. It was one of those things where you just wish it was like you was out there in peace and quiet and just taking in nature, you know? So now we're gonna walk into uh, Centro for a second. Yep. Grab some cash, yep. grab her maybe some personal items. She needs yeah. a brush. I need a hairbrush. I forgot my hairbrush and this thing is a big knot already so so i uh i'll find me a hairbrush so we're gonna get my baby a hairbrush we're gonna get some some de niro see and then we're going to the what we're going to las rapidos or los rapidos which is the rapids yes so we're going to bacalar rapids or so, los rapidos de bacalar i like what she, she talked like that <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So this is a boat fort. I don't know. Uh, I want to say 1800s, maybe 1700s. There's a tour for this, but I don't, we're not going to do it this time. You heard that this time. <laughs> Because we will be back <laughs> probably sooner than later. I almost cracked my head on this last night. It's so low. I have to super duck. It's that tall brother stuff. <laughs> you dig? our driver who's excellent and we will leave a link in the description to for his information he's dropping us off at Los Rapidos yes. so we're here and we're about to check in here's some information about the stones stratified structures in different shapes so we'll probably talk about that a little more later so adults are 150 pesos Eat. Kayaks are 200 pesos for an hour. Pretty cool. and teamwork. This is great. It's wonderful. So we went all the way over there. We really explored. We originally came in through that channel. <laughs> Chanel? Channel over there? <laughs> um, and we explored all of this. We went pretty far. Okay, we're on our way back. We're headed back now. We did so good. Okay, so we're about to do this again. We went down the lazy river. Um, it's the best lazy river ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> we feel like little kids. So we were like, we have to get the camera and bring them along because this is just. It's fire. It's that awesome. Yeah. So. We got the kayak earlier so that we could get footage and then we decided that we would take the rest of the time just to, you know, play. Yep. But so now we're bringing you with us. Okay. <laughs> This is 
the best lazy river ever. <laughs> Don't have to do anything. Just float. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> this place closes at six so we got a bunch of people walking over it was so cute hearing my husband say this is the best lazy river ever <laughs> we've been playing like children all day it's been so fun okay we're just gonna float the rest of the way and i'm gonna put my phone in the baggie say bye <laughs> We're eating a huge ceviche that we bought um, to tide us over after we leave the um, Rapidos. They look amazing and we can't wait to get in. Can't wait. Look fire. Yeah. If Looks you get fun. anything here at the Rapidos, we'd recommend the ceviche. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's I like it. huge. Yeah. Kind of pricey, but it's huge. It and, works. Mm -hmm. Because it's out on the outside. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So, this is Cenote Azul, and our friend Carlos, our taxi driver, took us here to see it. Yeah. It's so beautiful. saw them making it yesterday when we left and so I usually never order pasta but I had to because it just let's see so it actually was made with um, chipotle cream and the waiter kind of talked me out of it so I was like well maybe they can make it with white wine sauce so that's what I got so we'll see what that tastes like and then Terry got I got a brisket with mashed potatoes so yeah it's about to go down that's delicious just the way it is it's falling apart. That's good. I didn't even need to cut it. Is that fire? Yeah, it's fire. Taste this too. Mm. That place is fire. It's so I, I good. think everything on this menu is, is ridiculous. We want to try everything on the menu. It's so good. It, she had um, she had some honey for her tea. Yeah. Some honey for her tea, and at the end of the dinner, we just kept spooning the honey out because it was so. The honey was good. I've never tasted honey that tasted like that before. It was delicious. It was locally made. 
Yeah. And it's like an artisanal. I never had a flavor right. like that ever in my life. It was Amazing. so good. So we highly recommend this place. Like highly recommend. Yeah. If we were here longer, we would be here every night. Yes. For dinner or at least, or whatever to try. At least twice else. a week we would come here to live so here. So good. Yeah. And the people were so nice. And the place is beautiful. It's, and the prices are reasonable. Very reasonable. Very reasonable. So no, this place is fire. So if you are here, highly recommend yeah. La Playita. Yeah, two thumbs up. <laughs> yes. It was gorgeous, relaxing, beautiful, fantastic, magnificent. <laughs> it's the best place I've ever been to. That's what he said. By far. It's peaceful. Oh, I, I can't I have no words. No more adjectives to describe. None. We are sitting at a little restaurant across the street from the Adio bus station. Yeah. Just in awe of what we've just experience yeah seriously um, time just didn't was not a time was not a thing there it was just being present and taking in what you saw how you were thinking how you were feeling it was a perfect place to disconnect and reset it was and wonderful I will highly recommend that place to anybody anywhere in the world for real Bacalar for the win yes I mean my gosh. So, Pretty awesome. So now we're about to have some tacos. Here comes our food. And we want to catch a bus in about an hour right across the street. I'm a torture guy, right? Should I open it? Yeah. Yes. Show the people your uh, torture. That's a torture. <laughs> I've become a torture connoisseur. <laughs> Everywhere I go, where the torture's at? Where the torture's And it's only 50 pesos. It's like two bucks or something. What do you want from me? Yeah, so. Gracias, sí, I see. Because, you know, Carmen doesn't like the creamy stuff. <laughs> she doesn't like no, no cream, mayonnaise, no, no cream, no cheese, nothing. I'm lactose intolerant, but not only that, I've just never liked cheese or sour cream or anything like that. So I'm a little picky girl. But I just am in love with everything. I don't even want, I don't want to end it on a negative note because I feel like that's a negative and I'm like just flying high on positivity and everything I have experienced here. I, I was swinging on the swing at our Airbnb this morning yeah. and yeah. just looking out to the most beautiful blue water I have ever seen ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Katie, you'll see this uh, if you're watching this. You saw the video, and that does not do it justice. It really doesn't. It does not at all. It really doesn't. Yeah. Like you have to be there. It's stunning. Yeah, it was fire. Got to experience that for two days. We're definitely coming back. Yeah, probably sooner than later. Right, <laughs> maybe in a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. It is so worth coming here. Whoa. Whoa. Now that. That looks. Goodness. Wowzers. What? Okay. I'm about to enjoy me some tacos. Alright, let's get that first bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah. Mm. That's, the, that's a win. Mmm. Wow. That's delicious. I'm glad to hear that. Close mine. 